Hello everyone, so welcome to another video and in this video we will be solving this question which is called group anagrams. It's a medium level question and it's one of the most commonly asked questions by Facebook as mentioned by LeetCode. And also if you want to see more such videos of coding interview problems and software engineering, please do consider subscribing to this channel and share it with your friends as well. That would really support the channel. So let's quickly go over the problem and then we will move on to its code and explanation. Alright, so the problem says that given an array of strings, we are required to group the anagrams together and you can return the answer in any order so the order of your grouping of anagrams does not really matter and it also defines what an anagram is so an anagram is a group of word a word or a phrase which is formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or a phrase uh, using all the original letters exactly once so basically a different arrangement or a different permutation of letters but using only exactly the same letters for example eat and t are anagrams uh, and eight is also an anagram with those so these three are grouped together and then nat and uh, tan are anagrams so these are grouped together and then bat is a different one again the second test case contains an empty set of strings so the group of anagrams is also empty and the third one contains only one single string so the group of anagrams also has a single string so that's pretty much all we have to do a uh, pretty simple problem so we'll quickly move on to the explanation part and then we'll write the code all right so let's quickly go over the explanation part now so we have this list of strings this is what we are given so we have these many strings and we are required to group them in such a way such that all the anagrams are together. So the output for this one will be, we'll have to group the anagrams together. So let's start from the first one. So we have eat, then the second one t, it has the same set of characters as eat. So it will come in the same group itself. Third one we have tan, tan has different set of characters. So tan is in a separate group. Then we have eight, which again has the same set of characters as these two. So these are in the same group. Then nat has the same set of characters as tan. And then bat again is in a third separate group. So bat is one group, these two form the second group, and then this forms the third group. So our output will be something like this. These three groups are what we want to return. Okay, now in order to solve this question, one approach can be to actually try for every possible uh, set of groups or anagrams that there can be, and to keep on checking if this is the correct option or not. And this is something which is going to be extremely expensive in terms of time. And this is going to be something like exponential complexity. So this is probably not a good approach that we should be going for. And the other one uh, actually depends on something which is known as uh, canonical forms. So if you know what canonical forms mean, so it basically means uh, the term is canonical. And this term itself means to convert something into its very simplest form. So this is what we are trying to do. For example, in this particular group of words, the simplest form would be when they are sorted because basically by the definition of anagrams, we know that anagrams are two words which have the same set of characters or they are also known as basically permutations. So we can change the order of the characters, but the characters, the total characters are unique when we uh, compare both those two words. So if two words have the same set of characters and we sort both those words, then obviously they'll be exactly the same word. For example, if we just convert each of these words, given words, into their sorted form, so eat will actually be something like a e t, which is this the sorted form of eat. T again will have a sorted form such as a e and t. Tan will have a, then n, and then t. Eight will again have a e and t. Nat will have a n and t, and bat will be sorted in a b and t. And once we have all the sorted forms, we can simply check that AET occurs thrice. So basically, these three words are actually anagrams or they should be lying in the same group. And similarly, we have uh, ant which occurs twice. So we can say that these two words are again anagrams and they should be in the same group. And then lastly, we have uh, ABT which is bat itself which is going to be in the third group. And this is how we can simply solve this question. All we need to do is uh, find the sorted forms of each word and store the actual word next to its sorted form. So the storing part we can simply do in something like a hash map or we can use a direct addressing table itself. But a hash map would be easy in this case. So let's just say we have something like uh, a hash map which stores key value pairs where for every key which is a sorted form of the word, sorted word, so its value will be the list of actual words which correspond to that sorted form. So basically what we have is our key is going to be one particular group or sorted canonical form 
and value will be a list of all the strings that lie in that anagram group. So we can simply return these all list of values separately as groups. So let's just create a hash map. For example, in this one, we'll first have eat. So we sort eat and our first key will be uh, AET, which will be mapped to eat for now. Then we have the next string, which is T. Sorted form of T will be again AET. So we can simply add T to this list itself. So these are actually keys and these are values. So this is what our hash map looks like. Again, we have the next word, which is tan. So for tan, the sorted form, as we just saw, is A and T. And we can simply add the word tan itself next to this key. Then we have 8. For 8, again, the sorted form is AED itself. So we can add 8 to the list of these words. Again, we have nat. For nat, the sorted form is again and. So we can add nat to this list itself. And the last word is bat. So for bat, we have no entry for now. So we'll just create ABT. And we'll add the last one, bat, to this list. So we have these three uh, keys and next to all of these, we have the list of values, list of strings, which are the actual actual words in the group of anagrams. Now all we need to do is simply return, uh, we iterate through all the pairs of the map and simply return these values, the first list, the second list and the third list. And that's pretty much it. And that's our entire solution. So it's pretty easy to come up with once you know about canonical forms and the simplest forms. So we just need to sort all words based on their canonical format and then store them next to each canonical format as a list and we are done. So let's discuss the complexity now. So the time complexity for this one will simply be, so what we are doing essentially is, uh, we are iterating over all the words and it is mentioned in the question that there can be at most, at most n different words. So the size of the list can be at most n and then the length of the longest word can be at most m. This is mentioned in the question itself. So in the worst case, we can consider that every word is of length m itself and sorting a particular string, as we already know, takes n log n time. So if the length of the word is m, so we can say sorting one particular word, which is of length m, m characters long, is going to be m log m in terms of time. And now there can be at most n such words. So this is going to be multiplied with n. So this is the entire time complexity. And now to talk about the space complexity. So in this one, we are actually using uh, this entire hash map to store all the data. So let's say how many entries can be there in the hash map. So in the worst case, I can have every single word as a separately new, unique canonical format. So for every word, we need to create a new entry as the key in our hash table. So basically, if there are n words, we can have at most n entries in the hash table. So the space complexity will be big O of n. And for example, in this case also, you can see uh, we are actually storing all the words in our hash map. So our space is going to be bounded by big O of n in any case. It cannot be considered as theta of n because, for example, in this case, we will not only be storing the words, we are storing the words here, but then we are also storing their canonical forms as well. So it's not theta of n, but it's big O of n in terms of space. So this is a n into m log m solution and big O of n in terms of space. So that's about it for this explanation. It's a pretty easy one. Let's quickly move on to writing the code. Okay, so let's jump to the coding part now. So we are given this function which accepts a vector of strings and we are required to return a vector of vector of strings as the different groups of anagrams. So pretty straightforward. What we'll do first is, as we mentioned, we need to create a hash map to store these. So uh, let's just create an unordered map because I'm using C++. Uh, for example, if you're using Java, you can create a hash map and the map will have strings as the key, which is the canonical form or the sorted uh, particular word. And then its value will again be a vector of strings, as we mentioned, which is the list of all particular words that map to that sorted string. So this is going to be our map. Let's just call it M for now. So after this, we just iterate through all the uh, strings given to us. So for every string in uh, this particular vector, what we'll do is, every string will first store the actual string. So we can store the actual string in another variable for now. And the reason we're doing this is because we'll be sorting them. So the string will actually change. So now we can simply sort the string. So I'm going to use the C++ STLs uh, sorting inbuilt function. And if you use in Java, you can use accordingly. So this will sort our string. And now in this map, next to this particular sorted string, we will store the actual string. So the string itself, this value is now sorted in place. So we can simply store uh, the actual string next to this string. 
and we know that every uh, value is a vector so we can simply add to this vector our actual string right so for every canonical form we have pushed the actual string which is given in the list of strings next to it which is going to be the string in our anagram as well now all we need to do is we need to create a resulting uh, vector which will contain vector of strings so this we can simply call anagram groups which we actually want to return and we'll simply iterate through all entries in the map as we discussed so i'm using uh, a for each loop to do that so for every pair in my map which is n what i'll do is the value part of every pair so basically this part is actually the group of anagrams itself so we just need to keep adding this list of strings to our result so we can simply uh, we can simply say anagram groups dot push back so we'll simply add the entire vector so pair so pair actually refers to this entire key value pair so this is the first part of the pair and the second part of the pair is this uh, vector of strings so i just need to add the second part of this pair and that's pretty much it so once we have done this our anagram groups this vector is going to be filled with the vector of string which is the group of anagram and we can simply return this entire anagram group set itself and let's try to run this for a sample test case i think this should work so it's working for a sample test case let's submit this and yeah it gets accepted with a pretty good runtime so i think this is a pretty good solution and that was it for this video if you like the video please do hit the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more such coding problems and software engineering content and uh, let me know if you have any questions or doubts or any suggestions on next few videos and i'll be happy to take them up thank you so much for watching and we'll see you very soon in the next one